So, you've forgotten the combination to your combination locker lock, one like this, and you need to get it open. All you need is a knife or a razor of some sort, some scissors, and a pop can. So we're going to start by cutting the top of the can off. You don't have to be real precise. Just like so. We're going to dump that little rest of the pop out there. Okay, now we're going to cut the bottom off. Just like so. This is what we're left with. Looks kind of cruddy right now, but we'll clean that up. <coughs> so we're going to take your scissors. We're going to make one slit up the side, so you get one long piece. Straighten it out there. And then we're going to want to take off these jagged edges we just made there. Just like so. Now we're gonna take it and straighten around here as best we can. Be careful not to cut yourself. These do get sharp. Alright. Now we're gonna cut a strip off of this about We're going to cut a strip off about uh, two and a half inches wide. Just like so. So we're left with a strip just like this. Um, now, what we're going to do is we're going to make sort of a, uh, a V cut in here. Just like so. Simple. Now we're going to set her down. We're going to fold it over about, uh, you know, a little over a quarter of an inch or so. We're going to fold it down to the top of that V there. It's okay if it overlaps just a little bit. I've got two layers there. And then we're going to take our edges of it. And we're going to fold them up and over. Just like so. And we're going to do that for the other side also. We've got something that looks just like this. Now, when you're going to unlock your lock, um, what I like to do is kind of shape it on the bar of the lock first. So we're going to kind of take it and uh, sort of wrap it around there. We want that to be as fitted to it as possible. Like so. Now you've got a perfect gem. Um, the easiest way to do this, it's always on the uh, the left side on these ones. Some of them have two uh, shackle points, like on the, I think the spheros have those. But you're going to insert your shim right there. Now, here's the trick. If this is locked on something, you'll just pull on the lock. I'm going to pull, pull up on the shackle, so you're going to pull down on the lock, and you're going to insert it as far as you can. Alright, and then 
holding, pinching the shim onto the shackle, push the whole thing in. Okay, so I'm gonna try to do it in one motion. Okay, pinch it in, just like so. Pops it right over. Uh, typically, these are one use because it bends the uh, tip up. Uh, sometimes you can get a second use out of them if you take your pair of scissors and you just cut that little uh, messed up piece off. Let's see if we can get it to work again. I'll try to show you that technique again. So, we're going to take it, we're going to sort of get it started there. You're going to pull up on the shackle push your shim in as far as you can and keeping the shim and the shackle moving at the same time push them both in and now keep the shim pressed down and lift up on the shackle there just like so and opens it right up